In this video, we're going to talk about the difference between a project engineer and a project manager. And we're going to do that right now. This video is brought to you by Engineering PDH Courses, your online resource for continuing education for professional engineers. Stay to the end of the video and get your free uh, business health checklist. By answering a few simple questions, you'll be able to know some of the areas in your business that you need to work on just a little bit more. What are the differences between a project engineer and a project manager? For one, let's talk about a project engineer. The project engineer is normally, if they're in the office on a design team, they are with the design team on day-to-day -day technical issues then designs of an engineering project. They're also looking at the budget concerns of that project, and they, they go over all the analysis that is being done by the team uh, to make sure that technically they are correct and that the engineering aspects are being touched upon. They are also... Uh, are responsible for the reports, going over the various reports that are needed for the design team. If they're in a construction site and as a project engineer, there they're going to be on site almost all the time, and they're going to be working with the various construction crews uh, on site, making sure that they're on schedule, on budget, on the site, but more so uh, scheduling uh, the various trades as they're coming in and off the, uh, the construction site. They're also going to be checking for uh, anything like uh, extras for that some of these uh, trades may be asking for. They're going to be checking on the schedule, making sure that uh, as the invoices are coming in, that it's accurately reflecting what has been completed uh, on the job site, and so that the uh, owner is uh, is paying them uh, correctly. So the project engineer, as you can see, is more dealing with the personnel, the team itself, either in the office or on a construction site. Now, let's take a look at what a project manager is. The project manager is the boss. They're the ones uh, who runs the entire team. The project engineer is actually under the project manager. The project manager is looking at the project itself, not so much the personnel, that's the job of the project engineer. They're looking more at the project and their two concerns are budget and schedule, making sure that the company is making money uh, on the project as is being completed and that they're meeting the uh, timelines that are called for in the contract. Either they're on schedule or they're ahead of schedule. So that's one of their tasks. Now, the other thing that they're doing is that normally the project manager is a liaison between the company's management, the CEOs, COOs, CFOs, and upper management, and the uh, project uh, itself or the project team. And they also uh, work directly with the clients. So their job is more or less the uh, business side, the operation side of the project. So the project manager's job is the management of the project itself. There may be some question about who should have a professional engineering license, but everyone pretty much agrees that the project engineer definitely has to have a professional engineering license for a civil engineer. The project manager should have enough technical knowledge to understand what is going on in the engineering team. Uh, not necessarily has to have a professional engineering license, but since most uh, project managers come from previous project engineers, it probably goes without questions that most project managers also have a PE license or a professional engineering license. So the answer to the question is both will have a professional engineering license. The liability goes to whoever signs the stamp, uh, whoever signs or stamps the design drawings, or whoever is uh, signing off on the uh, technical reports in the field. And so those people definitely have to have a professional engineering license. If you liked what our video is and what we've been doing, uh, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel, and you'll be notified every time we upload a new video. In the engineering profession, uh, 
on either a design team or out in the field in a construction team, the it is paramount that you have both a project engineer who is with the team on a daily basis or in the field with the construction site on a daily basis and a project manager that is generally in the office and is working with the company uh, managers and CEOs and top executives and with clients. So they are both hand in hand needed on any project. They, uh, although they may look at similar things uh, such as the budget, but they, they come at it from different aspects. The project engineer coming from the team aspect, the personnel, uh, the various uh, design professionals, and out in the uh, field with the various construction crews and, and trades that are working in the field. So for the success of any project, you got to have at least that project engineer working with them at all times. That way we know that the plans are done correctly or in the field uh, that we know that the uh, construction is being done correctly. You may be able to do without a project manager for a while. But the business aspect of the project may not be there. Vice versa, you can have a project manager, but without a project engineer, pretty much guarantee that the uh, projects themselves won't go, won't be designed very well, or construction and fill won't be designed very well. But on the business side, uh, well, we'll know that they'll come in budget and probably on time. But Without that project engineer, it's going to be very hard to do that. So they both are needed on any engineering business uh, design team. An, a project engineer, there should be at least one project engineer per major project. You can have a, a project engineer that has several minor projects that he's overlooking, uh, jobs that don't take very long to do or design or anything like that. They can do several projects, 10, 15 projects. But when they get a large project that, let's say, a thousand acre design of a, a uh, master plan community, one project engineer, one project. Uh, if you're in the field, uh, usually since he's got to be on site all the time, uh, it's one project engineer per project. The other hand, with a project manager, uh, since he's looking at just the budgets and the timelines and making sure things are ordered on time and, and getting to the uh, project teams on time, uh, his job, he can handle several uh, project engineers with several projects underneath him. So you can have multiple very large projects with each one with their own project engineers, or you can have uh, multiple minor projects under one project engineer and then another project engineer with a major project. So project managers handle uh, uh, more project engineers with what they're tasked with. So those are the major differences between a project manager and a project engineer. I know you probably have gotten some value out of this, uh, understanding the clear difference between a project engineer and a project manager. Now, for that free offer that I was talking about earlier in the video, uh, it's always good to check the, the four bases of your company. This is your financials, how you're dealing with your clients, uh, how you're dealing with the, uh, the, the, the operation side of your business. And so what we've designed is a checklist that goes over those four areas and each uh, of the areas are asked 10 questions. And depending on the score that you receive for each uh, category, you can determine which one is kind of the weakest. If you're not, uh, let's say you're not invoicing very well, uh, that's, a, that's a big red flag. And so that means you're not having money coming in to the company on a regular basis so you can pay your bills and of course meet payroll. Or let's say you're not doing so well on the making proposals. Uh, so that way, if you're not doing that, then, then we need to know more about why. And so uh, the future of your company is important because proposals lead to more contracts. So those are the type of questions that are in the questionnaire. And in order to get that free checklist, just head on over uh, to our website uh, right here in the description down below, right down there, go down below here. And uh, it, I have a link down there that'll take you to the uh, checklist and uh, be able to download it. It's free and, and you get an idea of what's going on inside your company. Also, our, our next video will be showing up in the bottom corner over here. So just go ahead and click there and, and you'll find our next video. Keep improving your skills as an engineer.